10 supplies running low for mom and pop pharmacies supplies not even related to COVID-19. One local pharmacist believes size is why they're being shut out. Jermont Terry continues our live team coverage tonight in Morgan Park. Good evening, Jermont. Good evening, Brad. Here on the south side, those small clinics and pharmacies are often the only time that patients get access to medical experts. And tonight, those experts believe that their patients are losing out during this COVID-19 fight. At the corner of 71st and Jeffrey in the South Shore neighborhood, you will find the MNR Prescription Center. Well, this pharmacy is absolutely needed. The local pharmacy has been offering services to the Southside community since the 1980s. But since the COVID-19 outbreak, owner Pamela Jones admits they're not operating in the best condition. I feel that I'm not able to provide my customers with is just even a, a safe environment. One thing that I would typically have on my counter, um, just like you would have in clinics, would be masks. The out-of-stock signs on the front door detail the items she needs to maintain a healthy environment. But Joan says her product supplier refuses to ship even a box of masks. It's definitely an internal process of who gets what. Joan says despite placing the orders, the suppliers are opting to bypass small pharmacies like hers. But everything has been on product allocation. That means this pharmacy can't get medical essentials. They are choosing to send them to hospitals. They're choosing to send them to um, organizations or companies that have historically ordered more in the past. The same issue temporarily closed another clinic also on the south side. The Amman Community Center could not get masks to protect patients or staff. But for Joan, she insists it's bigger than just a mask. The companies are refusing to ship insulin needles. How is a diabetic supposed to use their insulin if they don't have a needle to attach to the pen? Now, unlike retail stores, some uh, supplies are still readily available to medical agencies. And Jones believes that the Illinois Attorney General may need to start investigating because she doesn't believe it's legal for suppliers to keep items from small businesses. Reporting live in Morgan Park tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.